Hi, welcome to the Film Crop channel. Today I'm going to tell you about an action comedy movie from 1996 called, Mr. Cool. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support me with a like. That way the channel will grow. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The Best Chefs of Melbourne with Baggio and Jackie begins. The goal of today's show is to bring together the cuisines of the East and the West. Jackie masterfully turns a piece of dough into beautiful spaghetti in less than a minute while the entire audience watches their favorite host rapturously. Meanwhile, the mobsters take the girl away and dump her in a hole, burying her in the ground. The guy who set up the gang gets beaten up. It turns out that the guy, along with the buried girl, lost a large suitcase of drugs, and the gang has them demons, with whom the mafia is clearly not friends. A minute later, the demons themselves are already standing in their building offering a deal. They offer the mafia their own goods for a reward. But he refuses to pay 10 million for his own goods, and a skirmish ensues. After it ends, the mob notices that someone has been filming them. It was the reporters Richard and Diana. The girl runs away with the tape, because no one wants anyone to know about it. The mob boss sends his men after her in pursuit, because the footage is enough to bring both of them to serious responsibility. She runs past Jackie, who was just walking home with groceries. He doesn't understand what's going on but like a real gentleman he immediately stands up for the girl. Together they run away from the mob, who shoots after them. Then he and the girl separate their paths to make it harder to catch them. Running away, he hides at the ice cream man, but he thinks he is running away from his friends and turns him in. Jackie even manages to visit a biker wedding and destroys the party table there, turning everything upside down along the way. Jackie takes the car and, getting away from the mobster's shots, saves himself and the girl. Unfortunately or fortunately, everyone knows Jackie from his TV show, which means they know where to find him. The mob breaks into Diana's house, keeping Richard as bait. It turns out that Diana has the wrong tape, but with the tape of Jackie's cooking show and she is kidnapped from the house. Right in her underwear and robe. This plays into her hands a little later, thanks to which she manages to escape. The shocking tape, meanwhile, is in the possession of a young child, Romeo's son. Jackie, along with her assistant, Lacretia, Meet Jackie's sweetheart, Mickey, at the airport. Jackie's girlfriend is very kind and beautiful, but does not speak English. Our hero starts a show, where mobsters burst in and beat up Baggio. Demons, meanwhile, are watching the whole thing and want to drop grenades on them, but because of the civilians among them, they don't do it. Jackie hits them back and runs away, and a big chase ensues. He runs from them across the mall and the mafiosi endlessly appear from everywhere, but Jackie manages to fight them off. Jackie and Mickey take the horse-drawn cart near the entrance and keep running. But here the strongest mobster, who keeps chasing him, throws him off the wagon, along with himself. Jackie beats him up, but notices that Mickey is left alone in the wagon. Unable to control the wagon, she almost falls out of it, but Jackie deftly rescues her. The demons ask the mobsters why they are catching this guy. And the mob tells them about the tape. Now Jackie will be hunted twice, with the mafia on one side and the demons on the other. Fun! Huh? Not bad for a grocery walk. Diana sneaks into Jackie's house in an attempt to get the tape, but Lacretia sees her and they start a fight. Lacretia mistakes her for a thief, but at this point she is the thief, so there is no point in making excuses. Jackie, who has returned home, finishes things off. Diana explains the tape situation to him, but he doesn't want to help her anymore, and he doesn't have the tape. He just wants to spend time with his beloved Mickey and not be touched. He escorts Diana out but she runs back into the house a few seconds later because the mobsters are chasing her. How do they find her? He leads her across the roof to a bridge between two rooftops. Mickey is very afraid, so Jackie walks with her in his arms. In the meantime, Jackie's apartment is blown up by demon gangsters, believing to kill both Jackie and the remaining mob men. He now has no home and lives with the others at Lacretia's. Romeo keeps an eye on their house. Miki is jealous of him and Lucretia because of their warm friendship and her lack of understanding of the English language only makes things worse. While Jackie is explaining to her that there is no cause for jealousy, bandits of demons break into their house. They kidnap Miki because they see the police and the tape never found so they can then trade the girl in. Jackie, along with the police, tries to trick Miki into taking her. The bandits lead him to the deal over the phone, but at the last minute they give themselves away with their stupidity and inability to be stealthy. The bandit takes Mickey right in front of Jackie on the other side of the river. But our hero pulls a very elaborate stunt, and ends up on the other side of the shore, flying across the river right on a construction crane. However, 
He still fails to save Miki and she is kidnapped by bandits. Jackie is very angry at the police for not being able to carry out even such a basic operation properly for them. He goes off in a rage, trying to calm down, but a couple of minutes later a car of demons appears in front of him and he is kidnapped. But since it's Jackie, he immediately tries to get out of the mess by putting on the handbrake and fighting all the mobsters at once. Their car crashes and this gives Jackie a chance to escape from the car. He beats up one of the demon ringleaders to find out where Miki is. The bandit tells him where she is and the police arrive on the scene. Jackie doesn't tell the police about the girl's whereabouts and goes to rescue her himself. The construction site turns out to be a deal spot for drugs as well. The mob ends up tricking everyone, taking both the drugs and Miki. And Jackie and the demons are screwed. Lacretia and Diane try to help Jackie, but get caught themselves. Jackie gets into a major fight in which they keep trying to saw him off, taking full advantage of the construction site. At the end of the fight, Mafia boss Giancarlo shows up. He invites Jackie into his car and takes him back to his mansion, trying to keep the dialogue friendly. But he is so obsessed with cleanliness that he makes Jackie hold his sneakers while sitting in the car. And at the apartment, Jackie is forbidden to sit anywhere because even the guests in the house wear special socks so as not to stain the floor. There he tries again to get the tape, which Jackie never had. It must be hard for him to explain this every time. Jackie tries to trick Giancarlo and pretends to call his friend to pick up the tape. But the mobster is smarter than that and immediately smells the deception. He ties each of Jackie's limbs to the ropes the mobsters are holding him by and they start a fight. He is not called a fight, though, for as soon as Jackie starts to take a punch, the rope twitches and he flies into him. It turns out to be a fight for one Giancarlo. Thanks to his cunning and dexterity, Jackie rewinds Giancarlo with the rope himself and now they are both tied up. This gives Jackie the opportunity to punch him in the face for all the bad things he has done. Giancarlo's bloody face is carried around the apartment and scolds everyone for allowing this to happen. Jackie and his friends are sent to the guest house, the dump where the girl was covered in earth at the beginning of the movie. Our hero pretends to be asleep, but once they reach the place, he wakes up and starts beating everyone around him and gets behind the wheel of the car himself. He tries to save the others, but a scary thing happens, a huge truck runs over his car, nearly turning the car into a pancake. Jackie manages to duck and crawl out of the car. But now the truck goes straight at him. That doesn't scare our hero either, he pushes his feet off the tire, crawls away from it, climbs up the tire and is in the cab in a second. At this time, Romeo arrives at Giancarlo's house, along with the head of narcotics. They ask about Jackie, but Giancarlo gives them no answer mocking and threatening them in the process. As they drive back, they see a huge truck hurtling toward Giancarlo's mansion. And at the wheel is Jackie. He trashes the fountain in Giancarlo's yard and all the cars parked near the mansion. The mobsters try to do something, but all to no avail and the car bursts into the house, blowing up and destroying everything in its path, everything that this bandit has gained by dishonest means. Once he's through the mansion, he destroys all the outbuildings, making the mobsters run away and scream in horror. Everything else on the property explodes, too, as Jackie tries to crush Giancarlo. But he grabs the hood of the car and flies off into his buddies who drop the drugs. That's when the police arrive, guided by the same we didn't see anything principal of Giancarlo, and tie up the bandits. Jackie really got his own revenge on the whole mafia, and Giancarlo goes to prison for life.